Quick question, heads or tails? Heads. Which one did you say? You know what? I don't really care, it doesn't really matter. I'm flipping this coin to demonstrate what a binary choice is. A coin either is heads or tails, it's binary, it's either or. Now a coin can be a great way to make a decision when you're uncertain. However, when it comes to problem solving, binary thinking, like you get with a coin, can be totally destructive to solving your problems. Solving problems is difficult when there's no yes or no answer. In fact, if there's an easy yes or no answer, it's probably not much of a problem because you could just pick yes or no and move on. Most problems in our lives are much more complicated than either or or yes or no type answers. The problem is, as human beings, we tend to fall into that either or paradigm. We fall into binary thinking. Now, binary is a term from computers, and yes, go figure, I'm an Indian man, I have a degree in computer engineering, it's almost required. But binary comes from the world of computers where everything comes down to zeros and ones. I'm not going to explain the technicals of it, but at the core, everything is either a zero or a one. There's no other option. That's binary. And again, it works for computers, but it doesn't work so well for, uh, for critical thinking and problem solving. In fact, breaking out of that either or yes or no paradigm is the exact key you need to become a more effective problem solver. Now, I had an experience with this when I was hosting an improv comedy show. All right, so in that exercise, what you saw was Patrick asking the audience for suggestions and sentences. Now, here's the thing. I play that game a lot. In fact, in my keynote presentations, I end most of my speeches with that. It's a game called Blind Line. Now, normally what I do is I put out cards and pens for the audience to write things down on. Well, this was a different type of show for me, and there was a lot going on. I forgot to put out the cards I had brought. So we're halfway through the show, and that game is coming up, and some of us who are off stage, uh, Patrick and myself, I say, oh, man, I forgot to put the cards out. Uh, that's fine. We'll just skip that game. Now, that was me falling into binary, right? I'm like, this is how I usually do it. I put the cards out. I didn't. That's yes or no. Since I did it, we move on. Now, Patrick stopped and said, oh, no, it'll be fine. What we'll do is we'll send you out of the room, the people who are going to play the game, and then I'll ask the audience to provide some of those sentences for us while you guys are out so you won't know what the sentences are. And it was so simple. In that case, it took Patrick to bring me out of that and say, no, no, there's more than two options and you need to go with it. Off stage, in your own life, in your own business, you're going to face these same kind of situations. You have a plan. Something happens that sends you off your plan. You then have the choice. You can say yes or no, or you can step back. And I'm advising for great problem solving, step back and ask yourself, what else can I do? How else can I solve this problem? What are some other options I can come up with? Really catch yourself when you get into that head down, yes or no, binary mode. That is going to be the key to improving your problem solving in every area of your life. Some examples of binary thinking, A or B, yes or no, true or false, my way or your way, my way or the highway, Beatles or the Rolling Stones, is it live or is it Memorex? You young people who have no idea what that is, look it up. Marianne or Ginger, and of course everyone's favorite, Team Edward or Team Jacob. Oh Jacob, you're so dreamy.